Welcome to Devotions from Israel, a five-minute word of encouragement. Today's devotion comes from Jeremiah chapters 13 and 31. One of my favorite prophets of the Old Testament is Jeremiah. He was a prophet who served the southern kingdom of Judah at the end of the 7th century into the beginning of the 6th century. About a hundred years prior to this, the northern kingdom of Israel was attacked and destroyed by the Assyrians. But the Babylonians now, a hundred years later, were at the doorstep of the southern country of Judah. And yet, uh, Jeremiah was one prophet who had a, a unique way of blending words of warning with words of hope. And certainly, we'll focus on the words of hope in this brief word of encouragement. Already in chapter 7, Jeremiah is in Jerusalem, and he shares a, a harsh word against his fellow Judeans. But then he takes action in chapter 13. He literally walks eastward out of the city of David, over the Mount of Olives, and into the Judean desert, specifically to the area of Parat, as it's mentioned in Jeremiah 13. This is what Jeremiah actually did. This is what the Lord said to me as Jeremiah wrote these words. Go and buy a linen belt and put it around your waist. Do not let it touch water. So I bought a belt as the Lord directed and put it around my waist. Then the Lord came to me a second time. Take the belt you bought and are wearing around your waist and go now to Parat most likely a specific area in the Judean desert, and hide it there in the crevice in the rocks. So I went and hid it at Parat, as the Lord told me. Many days later, the Lord said to me, Go now to Parat and get the belt I told you to hide there. So I went to Parat and dug up the belt and took it from the place where I had hidden it, but now it was completely in ruins and useless. Then the word of the Lord came to me. This is what the Lord says. In the same way, I will ruin the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This was a vivid image of Jeremiah going to the desert with this linen belt. However, in the words of Jeremiah chapter 31, these words of warning now turn into words of encouragement. Despite the level of disobedience that his fellow Judeans were displaying against God, listen to these words of hope. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke my covenant. Though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord and I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. We serve a God of grace and forgiveness. He is saddened when we turn away from him, and yet he draws us back by his love and grace, and he extends a covenant 
to us. Of course, for us, that new covenant was completed in Jesus, who came to die for our sins, to offer us the forgiveness of sins. He died on a cross to save us. He rose in three days to guarantee us victory. Be encouraged today that while the prophet Jeremiah spoke these words of warning, he also blended these words with hope. And our words of hope today is that in Jesus we can experience the new covenant of grace and love as we accept him as our Lord and Savior. So be encouraged today with these words. Until next time, Shalom.